The Laundry Bar, Johnson Street, Fitzroy, home of Grind Time Now Australia. www.facebook.com forward slash The Laundry Bar. My thoughts are wicked, vivid, transmitting twisted images. A scripted synthesis printed upon the ears of witnesses. I travel distances, stimulating the brains of ignorance, slashing the veins of insolence, smashing the drains of racial difference. <laughs> We're here at Grind Time Melbourne, Australia. Make some noise! Yeah. My name is Grilly. I'm here with my... Hey! I'm here with my homie Mark Pipes and Arrows. We're here in Melbourne killing it. Shout outs to our sponsors, BC Clothing, uh, OzzyBobShop.com, Scribe Apparel and Big Skateboards. That's right. Hold it down. All right. We've got another massive international match, all the way from New Zealand via Sydney by everywhere. Right. Devastator! Make yeah. some noise! You and everyone you know are gonna die. You will not escape no matter how hard you try. Your fate is a never to build. I take forever to kill. I suck my own dick! <laughs> And on my left, all the way from Perth City, we got Cortex! Yeah! I paint a picture of starving humans in villages On walls of businesses who promote abusing their privileges Corporate linkages kill quicker than sword swing It's ridiculous, war's a thing, our kids lord seeing in cinemas PCB, DS fam, Denmark, Albany, fucking down south, uh, WA UK, we've got the great house Tits What do you want to do, kids? Me first Me first? Uh, Alright, hey, hey, hey! Hold it down and yeah. shut the fuck up! We've, we've ran one on Cortex! Not, not dead. Not dead, sir, sorry. Shh! I will show you what this poor bitch is! He is the result of every virgin ever raped, long and sexually twisted! Oh. <laughs> this motherfucker has NYC on his shirt! New York City! What a pity! That's a fucking city that has enormous bun buildings! But for this pedophile, it means he likes to have sex with naughty young children! Oh. Face it! I'm racist! <laughs> So I'm not trying to be a righteous pacifist when I say this dude's so brown and look like somebody wiped their ass with him. <laughs> this fucking poor gimmick is the perfect image of a white man that did a song and got shitted on. <laughs> That's why he's got brown skin. He was down in the sewer where the crap goes. Explains why you're a reject loser with a crap flow. <laughs> in a battle with me, nobody in Perth, including you, are dope enough because I represent once we're white. Warriors, you just represent once were and will always be a stupid coconut. <laughs> you stupid islander, fuck off back to Tonga land, booger man. <laughs> Instead of gambling your children's money away, you should have gone to work, you Tongan jerk. <laughs> Yo, first of all, I didn't come here today intent on spreading hate of any nature. Fuck offensive statements. Today I demonstrate my best behavior. I dedicated several days to get a plane from West Australia to rep my section's name. I figured this would be the best occasion to get a chance to get away and celebrate the Melbourne flavor and to witness firsthand a silverback gorilla while there's still a population left in nature. Oh. Yo, I've got a couple of questions. A, where's its trainer? And B, why doesn't have a water bowl and bananas in a fresh container? Oh. I don't give a fuck, I'm seriously about to get the ranger. <laughs> Devastator, the scale of your head and face is a defective nature. <laughs> you smell like you've been drinking egg yolk with a caro chaser. Oh. The stench created by the sweaty vapors emanating from this rare endangered semi hairless ape are fairly major. Oh. Yo, you know the first step to being respected as an entertainer. Do yourself a favor and invest in an electric razor. Because oh. you're a smelly vagrant. <laughs> by day you beg for change and sneak beneath a bridge in a nest you made from shredded paper. <laughs> and yo, yo, 
Your skull is massively large. I bet I could actually start smashing this bastard's head with a sledgehammer and it's so thick you consider it a relaxing massage. Oh. Make some noise. Yeah. I'll show you some unbelievable whack freestyling. Where's the bananas in my fruit bowl? Bro, I donated them to your coconut family back in the islands. <laughs> Fucking electric shaver, I'll use a lawnmower. <laughs> I'll invest in an electric shaver the day you invest in a ticket to fuck off back to Samoa. <laughs> Fucking name you Andy Stain? <laughs> what kind of rejected name is that? It sounds more fucking annoying than a repeated neighbor's ad. <laughs> Cortex! You think picking up your phone and sending somebody a text makes you hardcore? <laughs> I will rape fuck you with a car door that will make your ass sore! <laughs> Next line, when there's children watching get killed, it will only make them laugh more in their bedtime. <laughs> I hope you die an unhappy death while you're choking on your mum's crappy myth. <laughs> Silverback gorilla, please. This ugly faggot dude only came to Australia to fuck a kangaroo. <laughs> so why the fuck would you cheer for this weak brown dude? He sounds rude. He belongs at the Perth Circus in a cheap clown suit. Oh. Make yeah. some noise. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Devastator, Shh. you look like a defrosted caveman that was discovered in a melted glacier. Oh. No, you look like the first man to ever rape a monkey and develop AIDS. Nah, you look more like the first monkey that was penetrated by a sesty sailor, transmuted the infectious case, which he then had taken back and spread it later. Oh. My bars will end you, Stater, leave you buried deep beneath a Melbourne paper, bend and break your back, telekinetically levitate you, Shoot. tear your brain intact from your head so that you remain aware as I directly shock your nerve endings with an electric taser. Oh. Yo, I'm just trying to best deflate your head and make you think again before you step up, even though Step Up is your favourite movie and you bought a bootleg copy when you went to Asia. <laughs> and speaking of step and stater, why do you walk to all your battles? It doesn't make a fucking lot of sense. Like you paid for the pain ticket but didn't think to save two bucks to get the bus to your event. No, probably because you're such a tall sped. One of your steps covers four lengths of a fucking small jet. We've been expecting you in Perth, a small stretch across the earth. And I can't believe this can't run across the Nullarbor yet. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Make some noise. Boy, yet I can tell by looking at him, he's nervous and he made his undies all wet. <laughs> Bro, you think saying that I was discovered in a glacier makes you dope enough, G? You were discovered by the white man hiding up in a coconut tree. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man with a crew. I'm an army conqueror that will sick some fucking Nazis onto ya. At your daughter's birthday, while some skinhead chicks are party stomping her. <laughs> Motherfucker, what is about to happen to this weak brown guy? Beat down time. He sounds like me out my, peed out mine. Oh. Every battle you've entered, you've always been outshined and you'll always be a broke bitch that will never see cloud nine. You're just a coconut that's unlucky. A hopeless fuck born ugly. Have you looked at your face lately, Cortex? It looked like you were put on a sore bitch and had your jaw stretched. <laughs> Motherfucker, you ain't that lyrical, especially when the ECST on your shirt means you want to eat Stater's testicles. Oh! <laughs> You're a fucking dumb bonga coconut with a lava lava. Go back and eat some bananas because you ain't worth smoking on NZ's marijuana. Oh, yeah. Make some noise. Hey, yo. Check it out. 
Devastator? That cracked out beanie you tend to favor every day is getting faded. I swear there's several stages of the evolutionary chain between that beanie and your sweaty face skin. Plus it's displayed the very same impressive stain since that transsexual J legend glazed your forehead with his testy base like a wedding cake. From the detrimental state of your health and weight, I'd guess to say your parents didn't care to raise you up in an effective way. There'd be hell to pay if mum never made the eggs and bacon every day and the very greatest compliment your father ever gave was telling you you had a tender face while you were getting raped. So in this bitch I'm like the regulator, ordered for you bruv. Man this shit is like some second nature, slaughtering you chumps. I give a shit about a devastator, you awkwardly huge fuck. I saw his sister in the elevator, I thought she was you cunt. Just like a friendly neighbor, torture this dude's mum, your wife will get violated, your daughter get bruised up, I'll tie you up and extort you for all of your new stuff, then put King Kong in, a, in the trunk like I bought me some new subs. Yeah. Make some noise. Go to the judges on that shit. Shout out to all our sponsors. Wow. Yo, yo, what's up? It's your boy Ray J, representing the 415 Finest and Decom. I just watched Cortex versus my man Devastator. I'm um, breaking down like this. I reckon Cortex came with the most bars. Like, he had the most chocolate bars. Like, uh, but De Devastator just came with those hard hits though. So, but I'm going to go with Cortex because he had more bars and was more better prepared. Yo, Devastator came with that freestyle shit, right, as always, but still don't better. But this time I want to give it to Cortex. Uh, so, uh, Devastator goes to Cortex. When Greeley stops talking on the microphone, so I'm going to. Alright. Uh, it's basically how I'm breaking this down. First round, I thought it was pretty clear Devastator took that one. Second round, it was a lot closer, but Devastator edged out. Third round, I gave to Cortex. I thought he had some better shit in there, and the whole, you know, racist and coconut, etc., etc., et kind of got old with me in Devastator. But the the first two rounds were strong enough to wipe out that third round, so in the end I gave it to Devastator. Nah, it's up to Hash. What? Who wants to get in on your interview? What do you mean by get in on it? Let me get in on it. Like, you like... Nah, I don't know. I'm not I want to get in on his rap. Like, you know, like, no smoke. I'm not good at it. Ronnie! Hey, sorry. Ronnie! We don't have to do that. We can just rip it. Oh yeah, um, what's up, it's Ash, that was funny. Um, I think it was a real good battle between Devastate and Cortex. Um, it was basically, for me, it was like, who do you think, you know, do you like the funny guy that just says outlandish as shit, and he's real loud and he controls the crowd, or the guy that had some more ticker bar, and he, you know, he had some, he had some much better bars, really. But I mean, at the same time, Devastate had some real cool flips, and it was just a lot more interesting, and had a bit of crowd reaction. So, I mean, I, I was here. I wasn't watching this on YouTube, so I'm going to give it to Devastator. But I mean, I think uh, Cortex. I mean, fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it was it was a hard battle to choose. But I mean, because I was here, Devastator was a lot more entertaining. So I'm going to give it to him. Now, what's up? This is Ebs. Shout out to One Out Street Battles Melbourne. Shout out to Alburn. That battle just then was like a clash of styles. It was intellect versus fucking hilarious absurdism. Um, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna give it to Cortex because fucking... Devastator comes with this style that's like... Fucking, he does it every battle and people here don't, you know, never seen that shit before and it's all like funny and exciting and shit. Whether I think that it, like fucking Cortex his first verse, the whole shit nearly rhymed with Devastator, but like he barely even said it. And his sec start of his second verse did that shit as well, so man just sharper lines by Cortex, sharper lines, so I'm giving it to him. What's that? For this battle, I'ma have to give it up to Devastator for the consistency. Even though it seemed like he freestyled off of his turn, 
the devastator is still um, domineered. He's barely off, you know, his confidence. And he's got so much experience in battling now, you know, after dealing with this shit. He just comes, even when he's freestyling, you know, it sounds like a street because he's just so confident in his shit. Devastator, man, he got this. My name is Greeley, I'm here with Eros and Mark Pizzle. Hit a battle, unanimous decision. No, it wasn't. It was split, bro. Three, to, Three two. to two. Three to two. Tie battle of people. And they gave it to Devastator. Make sure you I get you sure you check out this cunt's music, it's killer. Shout out to our sponsors, VC Clothing, Oz Hip Hop Shop, Scribe Apparel and Fix Skateboard. Subscribe to our channel. What do you say? White power.